among the hills of the West Bank lies the largely Christian Palestinian city of Jesus' birth, Bethlehem. Here, United Church partner Wi'am works to build a just society centered on nonviolence and conflict resolution. Wi'am's offices are bordered on one side by Israel's towering separation wall, ruled illegal by the International Court of Justice in 2005. On the other side is a street that is often the site of confrontations between Palestinian protesters and Israeli soldiers. These confrontations send rocks, tear gas canisters, rubber bullets, and live ammunition into Wi'am's garden. Wi'am's location here, which is near the wall and near the confrontation line here with the occupation, is an act of nonviolence. Bringing young people, children here, is an act of nonviolence. Uh, having drawings on the wall is an act of nonviolence. Wiam works with all parts of Palestinian society Christians and Muslims, women and men, from school children to the elderly. It addresses such issues as domestic violence, economic empowerment, peer relationships, and coping with the unrelenting reality of living under occupation. In its work with local schools, Wiam gives workshops to teach teenagers and children the skills they need to mediate conflict in non-violent ways. They also teach different coping skills for living and working in a society under the constant stress of military occupation. Uh, Wiam is one of the leading organizations that uh, trying to put special programs for the people here, helping the students, helping the, the people around. Uh, it's one of the leading society and uh, leading organization in the Palestinian society. Since beginning its workshops, Wi'am feels that there has been a significant decrease in violence in the schools in which it has been working. Former students speak of how Wi'am changed their lives, giving them confidence and opportunities they never otherwise would have had. Ra'ed Awad, a school teacher, husband and father now in his mid-thirties, was sent by Wi'am to a conference in Italy in 2003. It was the first time he met Israelis who weren't soldiers, outside of the context of occupiers and the occupied. Meeting Israelis for the first time like, created for me a different concept. It was like they are human beings like us. They think, they feel, and they behave. Or they have no, like, no relation with the government as we do. They have an issue that they struggle for. I feel that I was lucky to go to such a place, speak freely, uh, to express what is meant by violence and non-violence, uh, to, to be introduced into different cultures, and finally, the meaning of reconciliation. Jesus was here in, in, uh, in Palestine, and uh, even Jesus was walking uh, through the Via Lorosa, 14th station carrying his cross. We are waiting our sisters and brothers that they are living internationally, not to manage the conflict between Israel and Palestine, but try to put an end for this conflict and resolve it. We am is working to do just that, one relationship at a time. Your gifts to the mission and service of the United Church help make these workshops and programs possible. Thank you, and please continue to give. <laughs>